Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day as always. And in today's video, we're gonna be undervolting my laptop right here, which has a GTX 1050. And this video will be broken down into three parts. The first, where I will give you a quick overview of what undervolting your GPU is. The second, where I will tell you what results you can expect from undervolting your GPU. And in the third part, I will show you how you can actually undervolt your own GPU. So what is undervolting your GPU? Well, if you haven't seen my undervolting CPU video, you can go check it out right here and also in the description below. But the main goal of that video was to try to let my CPU run at a max frequency but with a lower voltage. And even though we're giving a lower voltage, we're still keeping above or trying to stay close to the required voltage so we're not sacrificing power. So the main goal is to reduce voltage, to reduce heat, to stop throttling, and that will allow you to play games at a more consistent frame rate. Now, the same thing applies to GPU. We're gonna be giving it a lower voltage for higher frequencies, but we're gonna make sure that it's stable and it will allow you to play games at a much more consistent frame rate without taking huge dips after heating up. So what kind of results can you expect from undervolting your GPU? Well take a look at this clip right here where I try to play Fortnite for 45 minutes without undervolting my GPU and take a look at how insane the frame rate drops are. And this is because the heat is just crazy on this laptop which has bad cooling so the thermals just go crazy and it starts throttling and the frame rates just go whoop all the way down. So take a look at this clip right now and as you can see the frame rates are at 60 fps even after playing for more than 45 minutes this time but this time we're giving it less volts so that means it's creating less heat and less heat means less throttling and less throttling means consistent frame rates. So let's begin with this tutorial. So first of all you need an application called MSI Afterburner. You can go ahead and download it, links are in the description below. Once you have that downloaded, I want you to save your original curve to your first profile. And the reason why I want you to do that is because if you don't like your new settings or if you don't want to undervolt, you can always come back to your first profile. So once you have your original curve saved, I want you to press Ctrl and F on your computer. Now as you can see, this is the custom curve that I have created for my undervolt process. But I want you to copy this onto your GPU, but also keep in mind that you might have to make small adjustments. So first, remember two things. The first is that you have to remember that these values will take you time, so you're gonna have to pause it, but accuracy is key. So especially on the high peak line right there, that line has to be super straight and not jittery, because jitteriness can lead to your performance being affected. So once you have created a copy of my curve right here, the second thing that you want to remember is that every laptop is different. So my silicon is different, my cooling system is different, everything variates and you need to remember that if you face any GPU crashes, you're gonna have to make changes and I'm gonna tell you what changes you have to make if you face any crashes. So let's say your GPU faces some crashes after even working with this curve that I have created which has been stable for two laptops that I've tried it on. What you have to do is you need to take the lower voltages and reduce the frequency of those lower voltages on the left side of the graph. Try reducing the little buildup that I have created and try reducing the frequency of that buildup. Then I want you to try this curve and see if your GPU still crashes. If it does then we can safely assume that it's because of the high peak line that I created. As you can see there's a lighter curve on the bottom of it and that's pretty much my original curve. And right now, um, my frequencies are going above my original curve. In fact, my highest peak is at 0.95 volts and we're hitting close to 800 megahertz. But on the original curve, it doesn't even hit close to 1800 megahertz, but it still takes up 1.25 volts. So that's the clear example of excess temperature created with too much of voltage. So what you wanna do is if you still face GPU crashes, take down that whole line and try to bring a similar level to your original curve. Now, we could most likely work it out and this would be like the last time you had to fix it because your original curve usually has the proper frequency 
the safe frequency for your laptop so it should work out now but the way to fix GPU crashes is just bring down your frequency for your voltage and that's how you do it but keep in mind that the whole goal here is to try to give as much as frequency for as low as voltage as we can so keep that all in your mind and complete this process and hopefully you can get a lot better frame rates and a more consistent frame rate on your gameplay now if I did help you with this video be sure to drop a like subscribe and also turn on post notifications to see new videos and be sure to check out the CPU undervolt video links are also in the description and this is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video see you guys later peace